What's up, everyone? Today we're making ham tong yun, savory tong yun, a dish my dad has made hundreds of times. Hello, 朋友们，大家好啊！冬至咧就就快到啦啊！我首先祝大家冬至团团圆圆，身体健康。我今日同大家介绍呢个咧，就系我哋台山特色咸汤圆啦。我哋台山人咧就系喺冬至个时候咧，差唔多个个家家户户都整呢个汤圆食噶啦。喺呢度喺美国有餐馆都唔会未必有呢个汤圆卖噶啦啊！汤圆 is my favorite dish of all time. Also known as sticky rice ball soup, tong yun comes in both savory and sweet varieties, and sometimes the rice balls are filled with goodies like black sesame paste. What we're learning today, and what I grew up eating, is a classic savory toy Chinese version, where the rice balls feel like warm hugs in your mouth, and the soup is packed with flavor and textures. Tong yun is traditionally eaten during the winter solstice, or Dong Di in Cantonese, which is one of the most important events in the Chinese calendar. In astronomy, the winter solstice marks the day of the year where the sun travels the shortest path through the sky, resulting in The least sunlight and the longest night of the year. Like in many cultures throughout history, Dongzi brings families together in a celebration of longer days, the symbolic death and rebirth of the sun, and for light triumphing over darkness. Tong yun 咧就用糯米粉啦，梗系用糯米粉，用萝卜同埋小菜，同萝卜原西葱啦，姜。蒜頭，啲冬菇、臘腸、蝦米呢三樣咧，基本上一定要落噶啦。我今日用蝦、四味米嘅啫，就要湯好曬噶啦。嗱，嗰啲係魚蛋，魚蛋咧就自己打嘅啫。可以睇翻我哋嗰個視頻，我哋整做過呢個整魚蛋噶啦。雞胸肉，材料就係咁多啦。首先洗蝦米先。After washing the dried shrimp, we'll pour out the dirty water and add warm water. My dad makes his cold and hot water here, which will speed up the hydration process. This tong gu, I use the tong gu. We'll do the same process with the shiitake mushrooms. Wash, drain, and soak in warm water to hydrate. For these dried ingredients, we'll want to soak them for a bit. Ten minutes for the dried shrimp, fifteen minutes for the mushrooms. Tong gu, ha mai, just ding ding, hot water, stand up, stand up, wait, ha, this is stand up. The ha, ah, this is where I have soaked the corns. We'll add two teaspoons of cornstarch to the shrimp. We'll add two teaspoons of cornstarch to the shrimp. We'll add two teaspoons of cornstarch to the shrimp. We'll add two teaspoons of cornstarch to the shrimp. We'll add two teaspoons of cornstarch to the shrimp. We'll add two teaspoons of cornstarch to the shrimp. We'll add two teaspoons of cornstarch to the shrimp. We'll add two teaspoons of cornstarch to the shrimp. For the chicken, we're only going to use half of the breast, about half a pound. We'll cut this piece in half, lengthwise, then into slices. I also wanted to make a special shout out to thank all of our wonderful Patreon supporters for helping bring this video to life. If you enjoy our videos and are interested in supporting us directly, head on over to Patreon.com/MadeWithLao to learn more. After cutting the chicken into slices, we'll prepare a simple marinade for it. This is a tong shi's side dish. 半個茶匙嘅鹽得啦，水咧俾兩個湯匙。Notice my dad is pushing the chicken to the side of the bowl to make room to mix the cornstarch。搞完啲粉先，跟住雞肉咁先撈落去。好啦，雞肉就熱咗啦。蘿蔔咧，首先你刨啲皮先啊。呢、這個蘿蔔係兩磅咁上下咧。用曬兩磅。用曬嘅，俾曬。啲蘿蔔好啊，有益啊。蘿蔔咧就切絲，斜斜地啦。We'll first cut the daikon diagonally into quarter-inch slices. Then we'll lay the slices down, overlapping slightly, and chop into strips. Let's 
料就備齊啦，而家就開始砌粉嚇，一定係要糯米粉整湯圓。糯米粉整湯圓就好硬，呢度就軟。我而家咧整兩磅嘅糯米粉嚇。如果你人少少三四個人嘅一磅粉就足夠噶啦。咁我今日我哋多人食，整多啲。個個中意食，啲細路仔嚟自己種粉咧，你講唔講？唉，翻到鄉下你咪見我喺度種嗰啲粉，同嗎？我我媽咪，你係你嘅嗰啲嘛，整好多㗎，因為我哋屋企多人啊嘛。誒，我同你阿二伯喺度喺度下邊整，你媽你阿對哥嫲就喺度篩粉。而家呢度咧就好方便啦，糯米粉就整好曬，一買翻嚟得㗎啦，唔使好似我哋以前咁啦。我而家咧就用十六嘅安士嘅熱水，一邊倒。熱水一邊咁邊個筷子攪開佢，慢慢。我哋我今日用咧，就係、是、叫做用生熟粉兩樣做嘅。嗱，先整啲肉粉先啊，嘥啲手慢慢咁捏，嗱，順手咁捏佢，啊，嗱，倒埋呢啲熱水落去。如果係一磅糯米粉係，一磅糯米粉就俾八安士滾水。好啦，滾水就差咗呢邊啦。嗱，我哋而家俾凍水落嚟呢度，執埋呢邊啲乾粉呢度。凍水咧就擺緊嗰時夠啦。點解唔唔一直俾曬熱水？俾曬熱水都得，搓湯圓嘅時候咧就冇冇差。我兩樣差，攞湯圓嘅時候咧，好好好做啲啦，叫做生熟粉。我媽咪做嗰時都係用阿羅用細熱滾水嘅，啊撈埋噶啦。嗱，點樣知道你可以？成成嚿粉好滑噶嘛，你唔係好似而家咁啊嘛，嚇砌好嘅時候唔係咁噶嘛，喂，俾啲手俾撳落去，呢度滑嘅上嚟，啊，呢度有大力撳佢落去咧，咁嗰啲粉先至撳得個雲啫嘛，錯唔咧咁撳曬啲粉喺嗱咧，得啦嘛。你細路仔年年年都會食湯圓啊？梗食，每年梗食。冬至食一次，過年嗰時年三晚食一次。我哋成日食啦，你中意食，哇！真係我我中意食糯糯湯圓咁又整係嘛？你好多時食啦，我唔係冬至先食喎，我哋成日都整嘅啫，係咪 ？OK， 得。好通常咧，初湯圓嘅時候，我得佢黐手噶，就落啲啲乾粉落去，咁佢就唔會黐手噶啦。整包嘅師傅梗係有啲乾粉底喺度嘅，呢個安線上下得噶啦，嗱，咁啊得噶。啊！你覺得佢係軟，咁你咪加咯。嗱、啊，你覺得佢係啱啦，唔唔使加咯。啊，咁啊唔好黐手啦嘛，係咪？最好嘅方法就係咁啦。你識唔識做啊？識唔識猜啊？嚟，猜猜。嗯，嚟，嚟拉上嚟，係啦，係啦，係啦，冇錯，係咁啦。係啊，係咯，拉咗呢個斜斜長嘅呢度。係啊，咁就撳落去。係啊，係咁啊，係咁啊，係咁啊，係咁得㗎啦。It's normal if the glutinous rice flour is slightly sticky. As long as it doesn't stick to your hand in clumps, it's fine. 好啦，而家砌好快粉啦，我哋一大 family 一齊嚟搓湯圓啊！大家開開心心過冬節，團團圓圓，開始。嗱，睇住爹哋點點樣點樣整下，誒，你哋。To prepare for rolling into balls, we'll take out the dough in smaller pieces and roll them into long tubes on a flat surface. We'll then cut them into your preferred size of balls with a knife or cutter. Our balls were about an inch or an inch and a half in diameter. Okay, let me let go first, and then take take one piece. So put one piece on the palm here, and then use the other palm, push on, just roll it. This this thumb can kind of helping the the moving. Okay, okay. 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 This way is more fast. This thumb is kind of holding. Uh -huh. See? This one is a little difficult. Okay. Take a three piece, lie here, like this. Three? Yeah, three. Oh my god. You try, you try. Go, mommy, go. 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 When you feel it's wrong, then it's not wrong. Good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. See? Tong Yun is really important to me and my Chinese identity because it'll always represent the love and care I felt for my parents growing up. Because of our language barrier, I wasn't always able to communicate on a deeper level with my parents, but Tong Yun was always a reminder that I am loved. Tong Yun was actually one of the dishes that made me want to start made with Lao because I always wanted to make sure that I preserve my dad's recipe to pass down through the generations. As I mentioned earlier, Dongzi is a time for families to come together, and it's fitting that Tongyun is purposely shaped like a ball to symbolize the perfect, united, familial bond in Chinese culture. 
As our son and future kids get older, I look forward to continuing the tradition with my family and passing it down through the generations. You don't gentle to the tongue yun. <laughs> Look at me so gentle, you just sold them away. <laughs> Daddy acting very fast because he walked in the restaurant. You you don't have time to be slow. If I did land the mole, they don't tell the cheese. How about we count who is the the round? The roundest? <laughs> what do you think? I think Hong Doi will win. One for you. Okay. One for gentle. One, two, three. Are we going fast? Just One, two, three, four, five! Oh, you're, not, you're just the least round. <laughs> we try again? It is Jen. It is Jen. Jen, 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 Jen. Jen. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wow! wow. So the new one, Queen. Tong Yin Tong Yin Queen. Tong Yin? You can eat it. Yeah! Later, later, later. 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 <laughs> In a large wok, we'll boil four cups of water. My dad uses hot water here, so it's basically already boiling. We'll then add in your preferred amount of rice balls, keeping the heat on high. We'll cover the wok to speed up the cooking. To ensure the balls don't stick to the bottom, we'll give them a stir occasionally. Okay, When the rice balls start to float to the top, or after about 7 to 8 minutes, we'll place them in a large bowl of cold water while we cook the rest of the ingredients. Three things is important to dangle the ball in the cold water. Number one, because this is the gluten sweet rice, right? After you boil, take out from the hot water, it's really, really soft. Too soft will be kind of hard to like, put the soup again. Something in the water made the ball become harder. The cold water shrink the ball. And number two, if you don't dunk in the water, the all the ball, if you don't cook right away, it all sticks together. Number three is the most important it is. If you don't like use cold water to rinse the ball, the soup will be very, very not clear. Yeah, it kind of gets milky. Oh, that was someone else's question. Oh, yeah. We eat red murky soup, so that's mm. good. That's good. So when I was cold. little, my mother never dumped in the mm. water, the cold water. Mm. I tried to do by myself. I said, how come the, the soup is so milky? Then later on, daddy do his way. I said, oh, now I understand. Oh. <laughs> 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 Thank you for me made the tongue oh, in soup, yeah. not milky. Well, you go ahead, you get the song now. With the heat on high, we'll add 2 tablespoons of oil to an already hot wok, heating for 30 seconds before adding the ginger and garlic. We'll cook the ginger, garlic, and dried shrimp for 30 seconds and then add the Chinese sausage. After another 30 seconds of stir frying the sausage, we'll add the daikon. We'll stir fry the daikon for 40 to 50 seconds, and then add the shiitake mushrooms and carrots. After stir frying for another 30 seconds, we'll add the chicken broth. After letting it simmer for about a minute, we'll add more water. As for the amount of water, it depends on how big your wok is and your own taste. My dad added about 6 cups of hot water to the wok. We'll cover the lid and let it cook on high for 2.5 minutes to 3 minutes until it boils. Meanwhile, we'll remove the rice balls from the cold water and set them aside for later. Oh, 
After the soup boils, we'll add the Napa cabbage and king oyster mushrooms. Okay, With the lid on, we'll let it come to a boil again, which is about two minutes. Okay. We'll then turn the heat down to medium and add the chicken. Make sure to spread the pieces around and submerge them in the hot soup so they cook evenly. After cooking the chicken for 40 to 50 seconds, we'll add in the shrimp. Just like the chicken, we'll spread out the shrimp in the wok to make sure they all cook properly. We'll let the shrimp cook for about a minute before we add our seasoning. To season the soup, we'll add 2 teaspoons of salt, 1 teaspoon of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, 1 teaspoon of sesame oil, 1 teaspoon of soy sauce, and 1 teaspoon of fish sauce. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step-by-step -step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. After the seasonings, we'll add the scallions and cilantro. Now, we'll turn off the heat and mix everything together gently before adding the fish balls. Wow, <laughs> Okay. We'll heat up the soup for another minute or two to serve it piping hot. This is optional and down to your preference as all the ingredients are already cooked. Okay. Okay. Why you like tong yun? Look at it, there's so much in it. It's just so comforting, soothing. Because it takes so much time to make. It's like, here, I love you. That's what I get. The gooey texture is funny. So tell me why you like tong yun. It's hella good. <laughs> Broth is hella good. Balls are hella chewy. All around very flavorful. And it's been my number one. <laughs> <laughs> How about cat? Nothing I've ever tasted. It's so delicious. Every bite is full of goodies. When I was little, I always hear Dong Dai Gon Mi. That Dong Zi, is the original. All of us go to eat Dong Yin. So the Chinese are very fond of Dong Zi. Do you guys prefer the sweet one or the savory one? Ham. Yes, I do. Oh, ham. What do you like? Hoi San Ham Hong Yuan. Sweet. I only maybe able to eat like a 10, 12 Dong Yin because too sweet. This one I can eat the whole bowl. More Dong Yin. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching.